you guys yeah just so just currently uh gonna go to the vet right now just for luna's sake you guys can see just uh just in case to go uh, to make sure that she really does have puppies because as i told you guys earlier like dude i'm not sure if she is still you know pregnant or not because you know her nipples aren't like sagging all the way so you know and as i said guys uh, every female has different symptoms but with this one for sure i'm just gonna you know do it so that way you know if she is pregnant or not i can uh, i can put my stress and uh onto her so that way uh, i can get prepared for the other litters too so you know because if i fuck up with one litter or if one dog dies and pretty much the whole puppy dies too not not willing that i care about the you know just the puppies but you know with the with the dog in general i, I love my dog so yeah just gonna make sure and hopefully we do have puppies and yeah see how much we got so yeah all right guys yeah so yeah as i suspected that luna is not pregnant man just because she was just not gaining weight because uh you know we usually when a female is pregnant you know they gain they gain weight about like 20 to 30 percent of their their actual weight like more additional so yeah she was just not pregnant i can just like tell but you know you you never know so i just had to make sure and uh, yeah, i didn't pay too much so and uh yeah it's just part of the breeding game man it takes patience and it takes a long time especially when the females they on average it comes into heat around like around every six months so it's totally okay totally normal it's totally fine you know because i have other litters to uh, look forward to and also i don't have to put my uh my my mind on with luna no more i can just uh put my focus on uh, with my other girls so it's totally fine it's okay and yeah she just spending time with me now since she ain't pregnant so and uh yeah she can do whatever she want now um the vet did tell me actually that um maybe maybe we can wait another week to do an x-ray but i was like honestly I, I don't i don't think so man because if i if i start seeing like any weight change then yeah i will but i doubt it because it was just not gonna happen because it's already been 50 days and uh, they said that maybe if you counted your days wrong but i doubt that i counted my days wrong because i did a progesterone test so i doubt it that i uh breed it wrong because the progesterone test the progesterone test is not a lie so maybe they're just trying to get money out of my pockets <laughs> but as i saying as i was saying guys um so yeah but uh, the x-ray that i pe pretty much paid for today was only 71 dollars so yeah not too expensive uh 71 bucks just to tell you know they're pregnant or not and yeah uh as i said in a previous video you guys uh i like to do x-rays over ultrasounds even though ultrasounds uh are are um you can tell if the puppies are there at a at a sooner date around like 25 days but with x-rays um you can tell around like 45 days to 50 50th day and uh for me it's more definitive and uh but it's cheaper just to let you guys know and uh yeah uh depending whether or not you go to a certified no well to a vet or to a reproduction specialist so it, it all depends you know what kind of vet you go to and what state you live in so yeah that's uh that's pretty much it for my advice for you guys and tips so if you guys are into breeding or you guys are breeding i always do an x-ray and uh in my personal opinion i always do x-rays so do x-rays it's uh, a lot cheaper and more definitive and you just have to wait a couple more days maybe possibly two weeks more three weeks more so yeah that's pretty much uh the end of the video and yeah luna is not a mama no more no not that girl so so yeah i can put my uh my minds on my other girls now so my other two girls but yeah as i was saying guys because my phone just died so damn i need to get my main camera out right now but yeah um yeah so i don't have to really put my my focus on on with luna no more i can put my focus on to uh, with my other girls and yeah i've got everything prepared my incubators my gloves and uh you know humidifier just lactate ring like anything dude just i am prepared for this later so yeah hopefully uh i'll let you guys update it with that and uh yeah um maybe at that time i'm just not gonna do any editing i'm literally just gonna just gonna send it you know i'm just gonna send the videos and just not gonna edit or not it's just gonna be raw i'm just not gonna cut anything out because i think at that time i'm just gonna be dead i'm just not gonna be able to edit videos and i'm just gonna be tired because i'm gonna be a zombie <laughs> and i know that for sure because of past experience and you you guys ask any breeder if breeding these type of dogs or english bulldogs is easy it is not easy you it takes passion commitment to actually raise these puppies and it's like living hell man for like the first two weeks and 
that's not even, you know, when they're not even premature, too. If they're premature, it's probably going to be longer than that. And some will die if they're even premature. So it just, it's just the way breeding is. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the, for, in the video, you guys. And yeah. And uh, yeah. Pretty much. Uh, peace out, guys. Love you guys. And peace out, Luna.